Good afternoon, Your Excellency, distinguished guests, dear colleagues, dear friends. It is uh, with a great pleasure that we are here today inaugurating the photo exhibition on the 50th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between the Republic of Cyprus and the People's Republic of China. Despite the, the geographical distance, our two countries has, have fought strong ties of friendship based on uh, shared principles and values. This is uh, a relationship that has proven resilient through time and has kept evolving and, grow and growing, founded on our shared interest for uh, shared uh, respect for international law and the principles of the United Nations Charter. The telephone conversation between uh, President Anastasiadis and President Xi Jinping on November 30th and the joint statement that was issued after it, as well as the visit of the member of the political bureau and director of the Office of the Central Committee for Foreign Affairs of China on December 4, are the most recent manifestations of the growing strength of this relationship, reaffirming the commitment of both sides to continue to work together for the benefit of our peoples. Dear friends, this is a journey that started 50 years ago from today with the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Since then, Cyprus and China ties have significantly strengthened in many areas, creating the conditions for a very fruitful cooperation in the political, social, and economic areas. Today, the two countries enjoy an excellent level of relations in all spheres, enriched by an amplified framework of bilateral agreements and constantly growing people-to-people -people contacts. Looking back, we can be proud of what has been achieved. Dear friends, I believe it is important to mention that over the past 50 years, we have continued to maintain principal positions on core issues of interest in relation to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of our countries, both in relation to the Cyprus problem and the One China policy. In this context, I would like to seize this opportunity to express the sincere appreciation of the government and the people of Cyprus for China's long-lasting support in our efforts to achieve a lasting solution of the Cyprus problem on the agreed basis of bizonal by communal federation as set out in the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and in line with the principles and norms of international law. In concluding, I would like to say that the exhibition we are inaugurating today represents a token of our appreciation for five decades of friendship and joint, and, and joint endeavors to establish synergies that foster our mutually beneficial cooperation. We are grateful to everyone who has tirelessly worked over the years to strengthen the friendship between Cyprus and China. And in this vein, I would like to acknowledge with satisfaction the presence among us today of some of the past ambassadors of Cyprus to China. Last, but not least, I would like to express our most sincere appreciation to the Press and Information Office of the Republic of Cyprus for their invaluable contribution that made this exhibition possible, as well as for the compilation of the anniversary booklet. We very much hope, Mr. Ambassador, that we will be able, within the coming year, to present this exhibition in China, hopefully to coincide with my anticipated visit to Beijing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please. Dear Minister, Christopher Duridis, dear Excellencies, distinguished guests, dear friends, good afternoon. First of all, thank you, Minister, for your warm remarks and kind invitation for me to say a few words. Today is a day to remember. 
Fifty years ago today, China and Cyprus released a joint communique to formally establish diplomatic relations. Relations. Fifty years on, our bilateral ties have always been steady and strong. Our friendship and the partnership have grown deeper and more fruitful. Today's photo exhibit is a summary and witness of China's separate relations and friendship in the past 50 years. We are grateful for those who laid a solid foundation for our relations and everyone present here today. I wish to thank with all my heart all of you, President and Sadis, House President Dimitri, Minister Priscilla Dulidis, and every Chinese and Cypriot that has done what they can for the friendship between our two countries. This year is a year to celebrate, and we have done a lot with passion. Two weeks ago, during their phone conversation, our two presidents spoke highly of the development of a bilateral relationship and decided to elevate it to a strategic partnership in a joint statement released afterwards. This has set the tone for our future together. Another week before that, Chairman Li Zhenshu of the Standing Committee of China National People's Congress had a virtual meeting with House President of Cyprus. Both agreed to further promote China-Cyprus relations across the board under the strategic guidance of our two presidents. Ten days ago, we had a visit of Ms. Yang Jiechi, Director of the Office of the Foreign Affairs Commission of CPC Central Committee. He had fruit, fruitful meetings at the Presidential Palace and here at MFA. To implement the, sensor, the consensus reached by the two presidents, our two countries' strategic partnership is a new milestone as we mark 50 years of diplomatic relations. This is a big moment. It shows how close we have become and grants our two peoples what they want. It mirrors our past achievements and the future visions. Facing the future, we must work hand in hand to meet the challenges. Against rising problems and the challenges brought by interlocking changes in international situation and the pandemic anxiety in the century, humankind has again come to a crossroad. Our destiny is a matter of our choice between peace or new Cold War, openness or closure, cooperation or confrontation, win-win or winter takes all, equality or hegemony, Sodality or small circle? The answer is in our hearts as we stood together in upholding common principles and values for the past 50 years. We must continue to jointly defend peace, development, fairness, justice, democracy, and freedom, the common values of all, in building a community with a shared future for mankind. Facing the future, we must duly implement the consensus reached by our two presidents. We must remain true friends of mutual trust and continue our firm support for issues bearing each other's core interests and major concerns. We must be good partners for win-win results deepen cooperation in various fields under the framework of the Belt and the Road, and work for new progress that benefits our two peoples. We must be 
facilitators of China-EU relations by promoting dialogue and cooperation and keeping China-EU relations on the right track. We must be defenders of international order, stay true to the purpose and the principles of the UN Charter and the spirit of international law, and practice true multilateralism. Dear Minister, ladies and gentlemen, an everlasting China-Cyprus friendship is in the fundamental interests of our two peoples. Our friendship is precious and promising. It needs our commitment and dedication. I hope that in five, 10, or even 20 years from now, when we look back on today, each of us can broadly say from the bottom of our hearts that we have done the best we can. With the time and the duty that was given to us, and with the many breakthroughs we made and the mountains we climbed, we can say we did it. Thank you all. Thank you.